Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So this makeup look is going to be an all drugstore makeup look. I don't even know what to call it. Whatever I decide to call it will be down below. But I just thought that maybe it would be a good idea to do a full makeup look from the beginning to the end, honey, with strictly drugstore products. So there's everything from Essence, from Black Opal, from Yardley, from Maybelline. Like it's all in there. NYX Cosmetics, it's all in there. So if you would like to see how I achieved this really, really sparkly, pinky kind of eye, but um, I don't even know what to call it. But if you'd like to know how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. from Yardley London this is yeah just it's called a quad eyeshadow and this is in foxtail lily loved these colors I don't know like I'm, I'm a big fan this dark color is a crease I'm gonna start with that Concealer onto my hand, and then and then add the concealer there. Now for my lid, I'm going to add this color up here which is a little bit of a sparkly color. I don't know what it's called. It doesn't really have a name. So I think just to bring it out, that's, that's why I added the concealer. And just pack that on top there. Yeah, no, it, the concealer helps. That I won't lie. The concealer helps bring it out a little bit more. just blend get back in with that and sort of blend it in nicely here like here from NYX and the end there just blend it out because there was a harsh line from the transition from the overall color it doesn't look too funky all right now that we're done with the eyes we're gonna go on to the rest of the face because that's what we do and for my foundation today I'll be using the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless normal to oily skin which is really me it's me And for concealer, I really, really like this one. It's a high coverage concealer. This is the Black Opal Truly Topaz Concealer. Really, really good if I can open it. Of course, to uh, 
set uh, soft velvet uh, setting powder. And then for oops, for powder, obviously, Maybelline Fit Me powder. And then for blush, I'm going to be using my favorite drugstore blush, which is the Love Cosmetics Heartful Healthy Glow Blush, if I can open it. And this is in uh, number 40. It looks pretty much like that. A really desert rosy kind of color, which I really, really love. Just for a little bit of added oomph on the eyes, I'm going to add this Essence Metal Shock eyeshadow, which is an eyeshadow I was wearing for the uh, Beauty and Lifestyle 2017 favorites. Really, really liked it. That's in a different color. This color is e -e -e. Stars and Stories. So I'm going to put it on my um, hand and then dab it in with my finger. There's only one highlighter really I use from the drugstore, really mostly. I'm going to be using the LA Girl 20 Watt Highlighter. And then lastly for the lips, I'm going to be using two products. Uh, the Long Lasting Eye Pencil, which I'm going to use for my lips from Essence in Chocolate. And then Abu Dhabi from the NYX Soft Matte uh, lip ring. As you can see it's a very sparkly look sparkly eye I really like it when I started out I didn't quite think that this would work but it's actually worked so well I really, really love it Ooh. Hey. <laughs> with a completely nude lip because mm, maybe because this is who I am though I don't know but I absolutely love this look turned out really really nicely so let me know what you think these are all drugstore products i mean very very impressive pulled it off i mean you don't always have to go high end like there are drugstore products that are doing the most out here okay and that is pretty much it i will see you guys in the next video i hope you enjoyed the look if there's anything that you would like to see from me definitely let me know down below and i will look into doing that one for you but if you enjoy these kinds of videos with the drugstore looks then let me know i'll do more of those but until the next one i'll see you soon